Oh man, I'm tired. I am totally beat. I've been on the road for 16 hours. I can barely see anything. I need one more fare to make up for the price of gas so as I can go home and have a beer. Oh, there's one now. Uh, I'm so glad you were able to pick me up. Oh. oh, hey, the pleasure is mine, you know. I need a fare. You need a ride. I think we're made for each other. Hi, uh, can you take me to the Hilton downtown? Yeah, I can go there. That's no problem. I can't take this anymore. Oh. Hey, you look kind of oh. beat. You all right? No, it's just been a rough, rough night. I am so tired. I am just exhausted. And all I want to do is get back home and and uh, go to hell of bed. I had a rough night. I had to meet one of my Johns and he turned out to be just one of those crazy people who wants to try and kill you and everything. Yeah, let me tell you, I see some freaky shit out there too. You're not the only one. Oh. Oh, I'm so, oh. Is the air on in here, honey? Oh, can you please turn it up? Oh, I'm sorry. It's just... Oh, sure I can put the air on. Hope that feels better. Oh, that feels good. Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am just exhausted. You all right, miss? No, I was running from this man. Oh, honey. Tonight, I'm, I'm going to work like normal. And I had to meet one of my Johns. You know, I'm I'm a hooker, you know. I'm not ashamed to say that. You're a taxi cab driver. Everybody's got to work, right? I just spread my leg, but I know how to do it, let me tell you. And I get money. Hey, listen, I don't judge anybody. My job is to get you where you're going to, and what you do there is your own business. It doesn't matter to me, really. It's all good. Sure enough. This guy is is just a total quack. I've I've never seen him before, you know. Um, I had never worked with him before, and it turned out he was just a little insane. He wanted me first. It was little things, you know. Oh, spank me, rock on. I love spanking a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But um, next thing you know, the spanking turned into. Can you stick a dildo in my ass? Then it turned into, uh, you know, can you really ram it in my ass? Not just slide it in there and ease it in there like you do everybody else. I mean, ram it, baby, ram it. I mean, he was adamant about it, okay? Just like, and I'm going, hey, that's what you want. You're willing to pay extra. I'll do whatever you want, honey, right? Sure enough. Oh, my goodness. Sure enough. Five minutes goes by of me ramming this fucking dildo in his ass. Well, that's just perverted. The guy turns to me and, and, and he holds me by the shoulders. And he says, baby, I'm going to ask you to do something for me. And I really need you to do it. And I go, well, you know, it's good. whatever it is, it's going to be extra. And he goes, no problem, I'll pay whatever you want. Let me tell you, I walked out of that hotel room with $15,000, okay? How much money? $15,000. I'm surprised you don't take credit cards. At the time when I was ramming the dildo in his ass, we were only at 1000 Okay. It turned out he had two brothers hidden in the room. Had them come out and it was they wanted a gangbang, basically. And <laughs> price. So no problem. What, all three of them? Oh 
Oh, you gotta be kidding. That is some fucked up shit. One wants to dress up like a woman, another wants to be fucked hard with a dildo, and, and, and I mean, then he wanted me to get the baseball bat. Baseball bat? That was where the, most of the money came from. So I'm not going to the hospital and explain to police why I, you know, got splinters up your asshole. And then there was... <laughs> Then there was, no, I just saw this guy that I know. Then there was all kinds of shit. There was like uh, the third brother, uh, well, he had some issues and, well, we can't even go into that, but, you know, he couldn't finish. <laughs> he had some tough times. But, oh my goodness, it, it was just not pretty. And when I tell you it was not pretty, it was just not pretty. Um, but it ended up, towards the end of the night, they chased me, chased me, down the street. Running after you? What, you think they'd be tired by then? What the hell is that about? They were chasing me, because they did not want me to leave, and they, I believe that they were going to kill me. One had the baseball bat that had been shoved up his ass. He didn't try and smear it on you, did he? Okay, he had that. Another one had a knife. I'm positive about it. Uh, I mean, I don't know what they would have done, but it would not have been pretty and scat would have been involved. Uh, oh, that's my stop, honey. Could you... right over there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep going. Yeah, you're going to turn right up here on Blanding, yeah. And then, yeah, make that right. Okay. Oh. Oh, there it is. The Balmoral Hilton. That'll be... How much is it? $17.35. Okay. Oh, gee, thanks, lady. That's a great tip. This was a great trip. Really, no, thank you. Now you have a good night now, you hear? If you can. Alright, bye bye. Oh. Fatwick! 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 Fatwick!